So the, uh, the first thing uh, that I wanted to talk about a little bit is a slightly more technical discussion on feedback, which has to do with the pixel format. Um, so let's start by building a simple feedback loop. Um, I'll create a constant top. And I'll make it blue. And I'll offset this image by uh, uh, so that I just have one pixel line here on the edge of the image using a transform top. So right click on the output and add a transform. The transform top transform and I'll set the uh, translate parameter unit to pixels. The transform no translate o pixel ni kaete. And then I'll offset the whole thing by minus two fifty five. And you should end up fifty five. Minus 255. Yeah. And you should end up with this single single column of pixels. So And the next step is to uh, add a feedback. Feedback and an overtop to combine the feedback with the transform. The overtop to create feedback to combine over and now the thing with the feedback loop is that the feedback needs to know where how to close the loop. Where is the uh, image coming from that closes the loop? And that's what the feedback loop has, or the feedback top has a parameter for called target top. The feedback loop will close the loop to 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 the feedback top to close the loop to close the loop to close the loop to close and our target top is the over. The over ga target top ni narimasu. So with the feedback selected and the parameters up, just drag the over top onto the feedback, uh, onto the target top parameter of the feedback. The feedback no target top ni over o drag and drop shite shite shimasu. And now the next step, what I want to do is I want to offset every loop that this feedback runs through, I want to offset this by one pixel to the right. So in the, uh, um, in the over top, set the, uh, actually, let me look. Yeah, set the uh, translate units to pixels. feedback <laughs> ピクセルが1ピクセルずつこうフレームで伸びていくようにループが入っていくようにしたいのでオーバーのトランスレートをピクセルに変えてpixelに変えて。And because of the way that the uh, over works with the fixed layer being the input 2, we want to switch that to input 1. The fixed layer will switch to input. Oh. So the the feedback is the pixel frame So what we get is basically we're redrawing this whole blue image. 
And now let's do per iteration of the feedback loop, let's take the opacity down a little bit so that we get a nice fade out. So after the feedback at a level top. えっと、オパシティを下げることでどんどんあのグラデーションしていくようなフィードバックに変えます。And on the level top on the post page set the opacity to 0.995. で、レベルトップをつないでポストのタブからえっと、値を 0.995. And now let's have a look at what we created here by analyzing the whole thing with a top two chop. And I'll use the feedback top as the uh, um, top that I want to have a look at. で、フィードバックのえっとフィードバックトップをえっとアナライズする対象としてトップ2チョップに選択すると今このようになってます。And now if I inspect this channel here, the blue channel, then what I can see is that it's a nice linear curve from 1, but somehow it's stopping to decrease at around 0.4. Or to be correct, at 0 0.376. Mm -hmm. It's like going down yeah. and then it flattens Stopping out. The yeah. And uh, it clamps at 0 0.376. Yeah, the, the, uh, this value, yeah. So that's the clamping. えっと、色の情報を見ると、フィードバックでだんだんブルーの値が下がっていってるのがわかるんですが、えっと、ちょうどこのところでクランプするっていうか、あの、最後まで綺麗にフィードバックしていなくて、途中であの、止まっちゃ
And as a result, what you can see is that our graph now in the top two chop actually decreases the whole way it continues decreasing because it now has way more values available per pixel, per color. And um, therefore you get um, the, uh, the proper, yeah, the proper ramp all the way down. えっと、グラデーションができているということが確認できます。And with that being said, this has also visual impact. Like um, it's not just that the uh, colors might be it's not very visible in this ramp, but if you use this ramp for example with a displays, displays top, then it actually has a visual um, uh, difference between those uh, 8 bit and the 16 bits because it clamps there. Um, we can try it. Okay. So um, let's put down a constant top. Display, I あの、見た目で違いがあんまりよくわかんないかもしれないんですけど、ピクセルの値は違っているので、それをあの、可視化するのにディプレイスっていうちょっとトップを使ってえっとやってみます。で、まずコンスタントをもう1個作ります。and on the constant at a displays. And use the ramp as the second input. There's um oops, I'll just uh, show you the uh, the result. Um uh, da, 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 da. one second. なんでちょっとおかしくなってるのかわかんないので、皆さんにももうお配りされてるんですが、あのサンプルプログラムがその中のフィードバックのえっと01がまたく同じ内容が入っているので、それを一回お見せします。We do have the the file that we just built. We have that in the folder for you. So, um, I'll just give you a short. Uh, show you shortly the difference between those different pixel values in the displays here. Um, this would be the 8 bit result, so you see the clamping. で、今このディスプレイスを使ってピクセルの値をあの白の部分が青の値のこうどうカーブができているかを可視化してるんですが、今8ビットに変えたら下でクランピングしてるっていうことが確認できます。we have the 16 bit. 16 bit to 16 bit And in this file you still can see that the uh, decrease of these um I added a slope onto the top to show the uh, um yeah how the how the decrease is happening and you see the 16 bit is stepping still. で、このサンプルの中ではスロープチョップっていうのを使っていて、で、その各フレーム間の値がどう変化してるかっていうのを今見てるんですが、16ビットの場合、一見スムーズに値が変わっているかのように見えますが、実はまだちょっとステップあの
So first, I'll create a little component, a base component, and call it scanner. ここでまずベースのコンポーネントを1個作ってスキャナーと名前を付けてください。And I'll go inside that. I'll put them all into components just so that we're not overpowering computers if we build all of them in a single network. So we'll compartmentalize uh, them. Okay. Uh, can I ask her, do you have any question? In the oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Look, I'm not sure if I'm going to ask her. あ,あ,そうあの後ろにいるあのアシスタントティーチャーとかもいらっしゃるのであの分かんなくなったら手が上がればすぐに教えに飛んでいってくれるはずです。今のところ何かここを聞いておきたいというような質問がある方いらっしゃいますか大丈夫そうですか Good. So let's create a movie file in top. でベースの中に入ってムービーファイルイントップを作ります。And in the folder that we shared with you, there's a media folder in there. でサンプルファイルを配った中の別ファイル別フォルダーにメディアっていうフォルダーがあって、その中にあの動画のファイルがいくつか入ってます。And there's movies and let's just open up this Patagonia. Patagonia っていう名前のファイルを選んでください。And everybody has that, yeah, good, alright. これファイルがない人とかいらっしゃいますか。So what I want to do now is I want to crop out a single column of the movie, and I want to do this progressively. So I'm going to take the first one, then the second one, then the third one. And then I'm going to place it back in the same position and run that through a feedback loop. The feedback を使ってこのムービーのさっきと同じように一縦ピクセルを切り取ってこうどんどん走っていくムービーの別の場所に same position, same position, 同じポジションのなんだけどあのタイムラインで映像は進んでいくっていうので置き換えをしていくエフェクトを作っていきます。So I'll add a crop top. The movie の後ろにクロップトップをつなぎます。And set the crop left, crop right to pixels. でクロップライトの、えー、単位をピクセルに変えます。And now I can, by controlling the crop left and crop right, I now can crop out a single column. I just set them to zero for now. Zero. But we'll export on it, so it's not really important. But yeah. The crop の right を zero にすると、えっと一ピクセル分だけの画像になります。So what I will need now is something that counts up to the full resolution of the movie. So I'll use a constant and a count and a null chop to create this counter. でえー、と1ピクセルずつこう進んでいくようにするのでコンスタントとカウントとヌルを作ってその値が1個ずつ増えていくようなものを作ります。カウント and a null and I set the、uh, value for the constant for the first、uh, channel to one でコンスタントの値、チャンネル1の値を1に変えます。And set the、um, while on parameter of the count to increase count. で、えー、カウントとチョ,チョップの2個目のカウントのペータブのワイルオンを、えー、インクリースカウント。まあ、1が来ている間ずっと値を足していくっていう。And I will use this value here to control the crop left, crop right. So I will export this value onto the crop left, crop right parameter. 
でこのカウントアップしてる値をどのピクセルをクロップするかっていう値に使います。でどっちもあのピクセルにしてクロップライトとクロップレフトに値をエクスポートします。And as my movie is not endlessly long, I'm going to set the limit parameter of the count to loop and set the limit to zero and the maximum to 1280 because that's the resolution of my movie. Movie no resolution no haba ga muge ni aru wake jana ino de, kono mama count o していくとずっと値が増えてしまうので eh to count no 値の2個目のパラメータからループの、えー、とリミットでループを選んで0から、えー、今読み込んだ動画が1280の横の解像度なので、えー、0から1280でループするようにします。OK。And this I now have to place over a new transparent image at the same position. So I'll add a constant top. でまたコンスタントチョップを作ります。コンスタントップ、yeah. コンスタントップです。And I'll set it to transparent, so color black and alpha zero. で、えっ、ー、とこれをあのベースのトップにするので、値をあの真っ黒にしてアルファもゼロにした、透過したコンスタントにしてください。And I'll set the resolution to 1280 by 720 because that's my movie. Movie to 同じ解像度の 1280×720 に変えます And now I over the crop onto the constant. で、えー、とオーバーを使ってクロップの下値、えー、と画像を上に乗っけて下に、えー、とコンスタントが来るようにします。Now, to get this all nicely lined up, I'll change the prefit overlay to native resolution. And, oh. And you should see the,、uh, this, uh, the column in the center of the image. 全体透過している中の真ん中の1ピクセル縦1ピクセルだけ、えー、とクロップした値のクロップした画像が入っている状態になってます。And I'll, I want it though on the left side because now I can use the same channel that I use for cropping out the image to move it back into its original position but going from the left. So I'll set justify horizontal to left. And the translate unit to pixels. でこれを、えー、と左側からこうピクセルを置き換えていく感じにするので、えー、とセンターの位置をホライゾナルジャスティファイホライゾナルを、えー、とレフトにしてでトランスレートのユニットああの単位をピクセルフラクションではなくてピクセルに変更します。And then export the same channel onto the translate x parameter. So that the same channel that's controlling the crop will also control the translate. The Saki Scutta count the attai or transform the attai ni recomuto, a chipixel zutsu, so no gazo no. クロップした1ピクセルがその場所にあの同じポジションに入って右にどんどん動いていくようになります。OK、now we'll build a little over, over、uh, feedback network around this. So let's add another over top after. でここにフィードバックを足していくので次にオーバーを作ります。And by middle mouse clicking to start a new chain onto the first over output, we'll add a feedback. Which goes into the second input of the second over. 
And you want this over to be uh, the target top for the feedback. So drag the second over onto the target top parameter of the feedback. で、オーバーのフィードバックのターゲットトップにオーバーを指定します。And we can add a null here as our last step and have a look what it's creating. で、今のフィードバックしてその切り取ったタイミングのピクセルがどんどんここにフィードバックしていくというものができました。So it's essentially a look through the movie But only in separate sections, only in, yeah, in scan lines. And this can have an interesting effect on slow moving movies, but also on faster paced movies. So let's switch out this movie file that we loaded here to a different one. ムービーファイルを変えてちょっとエフェクトがどうなっているかどういう具合にかかるのかを見てみましょう。For example, try this glass ladder loop here. でグラスラッダーというファイルがあるのでそれを開いてみてください。And then you can kind of compare the results of the two. で元の動画とあのフィードバックをかけた動画を見比べてみてください。Now, if you wanted to, I'm just going to switch that back again to my Patagonia. The nice part about the feedback loop is that you can add effects inside the feedback loop that、um, change the image dramatically. So,、um, one idea could be A transform with the red channel being taken out or something like that. So I'll add a transform top. Just adding a transform. After、um, the feedback. After the feedback. The feedback の後ろに次は transform をつなぎます。And now, another important thing about feedback is that all values should be very、um, finely adjusted. Like, you don't want to have massive value changes, but very fine value changes. So, let's change the scale parameter on this transform in the x direction to 1.001. And the fun things to play with on the comment page the channel masks are something、um, you can think of as like the scope parameter. In chops, you have the scope parameter to apply and、um, what the chops are doing to a certain channel. In tops, you have the channel masks. So, if on the comment page I click on the R, that means that the red channel here is not being affected by my scale.、えーうん、if I choice R, the,、yeah. the only effect for the R channel. I know the,、uh, the through R red, channel. Red is disabled. Red is、okay. not being、mm-hmm. transformed here.、Yeah. チョップの場合はスコープチャンネルっていうのでいくつかあるチャンネルの中でこのチャンネルだけにこのオペレーターのエフェクトをかけたいっていうのが選べるんですがそれと同じようにえとトップもコモンページのチャンネルマスクからえと RGBα のこのトップでやっていることのどのチャンネルだけにあのエフェクトをかけたいというかその機能を有効にしたいっていうのが選べます。でここで今、えー、と R のチャンネルマスクをオンにすると,、えー、とレッドレッドにだけあの機能がかかって今赤のチャンネルだけこうトランスフォームがかかってこうバーッと広がっていくような効果がかかってます。So yeah, you have a little bit.、Um, it's always interesting to play with、um, 
operators inside the feedback loop and always adjust the values very, very um, in small amounts. Um, okay, so that's good. For our next example, let's copy these five nodes, or wait, that's seven nodes, that's uh, the whole constant chain or the chop chain here. And then all these nodes, the movie file in crop constant and the over. Let's copy those. The next sample is the same thing. 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 The next sample is また base コンポーネントを1個作ります。And I'm gonna call this the mover. で、ムーバーと名前を付けます。And go inside and paste those in here. で、その中に入ってさっきのやつをペーストします。And instead of translating this、um, on the over one, we, we are exporting onto the translate x parameter. Let's remove this export. By right clicking and choosing remove export. The Imamade go each pixel is go it's that so to to kaitai no de over no translate on export serratai or remove export to the kai kaiju smas. So our one column is always staying on the left side. It's always on the、ah. left here. The kaiju serrato, a no, sai shon no yo ni. 一番左側の1ピクセルの縦にだけ、えー、とクロップした画像が入っている状態に戻りました。And let's build another feedback loop again with an over and a feedback top. でもう一個また別のフィードバックを作るので、フィードバックループを作るので、えー、とオーバーとフィードバックを作ります。オーバーフィードバック、コネクトフィードバックの second input of the over。Drag the over onto the target top parameter of the feedback. And after the feedback, add a translate top, transform top. The feedback no target top ni over will it be? Mata translate. Transform. Transform will be created. But as, the,、uh, as <coughs> I said, translate, what I want to do is in this transform, I want to translate the、uh, feedback. One、uh, pixel at a time, so as we did in the first example, for which I switched the translate unit parameters to pixels and translate by one pixel. The 最初のやつみたいに1フレームごとに1ピクセルずつずれてフィードバックしていく形にしたいので、えっとトランスフォームのトランスレートをピクセルに変えて、えー、とト,ランスフォームトランスレート X 側を1にします。So、I'm now scrolling this image through, essentially. で今、イメージがこうスクロールしていくような感じになりました。The、uh, interesting part about this network is that it can be very useful for a totally different、um, purpose, which is if you want to visualize an audio signal as a spectrograph. でこのやり方は、えー、とオーディオのスペクトラムの、えー、可視化をするときにも役に立ちます。And we can try this as well. So let's add an audio file in. で、オーディオファイルインを作ります。And I put this on the left side of the whole network. 左側に作ってください。And after the audio file in, we'll use an audio spectrum. で、次にオーディオスペクトラムを作ります。And in the audio spectrum, what I want to do is I want to visualize this audio spectrum as tops. And so I'm going to create a scan line from it with a chop to top. で、さっきスキャンラインって1クロップしたようなやつをオーディオのものも今回作るので、その時は、えっ、ー、と、チョップトゥ、チョップトゥトップ、チョップトゥトップを使います
So as a little shortcut, you can always right click on the output of the job, go into the top family and then choose the job to, which will automatically fill in the parameter for you, the job parameter. The audio spectrum no now the uh, oh sorry あの、えっと、チョップがトップに置き換えられた状態になってます。The <laughs> interesting part here is that or what you have to watch out for is the data format that the uh, chop to uses. By default it's set to R. So it's creating for each channel it will create one row of pixels only in the uh, uh, red channel. で、今、え、チョップ、トップではデータフォーマットがRになっていて、今Rのチャンネル、Redのチャンネルに、えっと、チョップの全てのデータが格納される形になってます。So as a result, I get a very very long top with two rows. But what I want is a top that is 720 for the purpose of our network and one row high and the two channels are used for red and green for example and the easiest way to get to that in this case is actually to use the data format legacy the scan line is used the top is 720 what is our white resolution? The, you, you oh, the width. Oh, the the width that we want is seven hundred and twenty. Seven hundred twenty. Yeah. Is our the height? height. Yeah. The so this one because we're gonna flip it. Flipping. We'll flip it after. Ah. The. So we will. Ah. No. Tenchi. Surekoto de. Tate no takasa. Ma yoko ko chijimeru jana kute. Tenchi shite. Tate o. 720にして、で、チャンネルの数は2つっていう状態に変換したいということで、データフォーマットをレガシーを選びます。So as a result, we get 22,000 pixels by one, which is good already. The 22,000 comes from the uh, um, spectrum. This is one pixel per hertz in the frequency spectrum. Um, but we can fix that. In the audio spectrum chop, we can change the output lengths from match lengths to frequency to set lengths manually. で、今、チョップとトップは22,050ってすごい長い画像になってるんですが、それはあのスペクトラムオーディオスペクトラムのチョップがま、サンプル数をその数持っているので and the output length will do 720. And now flip, add a flip top after the chop two. で、今1×720×1になったので、これを次にフリップをつないで and set the um the flop parameter on the flip top to uh, um bottom left. So it's basically rotating it up on the left side as the with the pivot set on the left side. で、フリップのフロップのパラメーターでボトム レフトを選んであげるとえっとレフトがボトムレフトレフトボトムいやそうですねレフトボトムこれで縦長だったやつが720×1だったやつが1×720に置き換わりましたand i can use now this top here to replace the input into the over. で、さっき作ってた、えっと、クロップのスキャンラインの代わりにこのフリップで作ったやつをオーバーに入れます。
And as a result, what I get is a spectrograph. So a history of the spectrum in the audio file. Um, often what is done now is you can use a lookup top and a ramp top to bring out certain frequencies if you want to. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a universally useful um, tool. And there's an interesting, if you, um, I don't have the, um, the audio file with me, but there's an interesting track by uh, Affex Twin on his window licker record. Mm -hmm. If you check that out, and there's a track called Formula. And let that run through the spectrograph and have a look what comes out of it, because there's lots of encoded imagery in the track, actually. So it's a yeah, fun little example. It's called, uh, it's just for um, people to do something. It's the Window Licker EP by Apex Twin. Yeah. And the Formula track, if they find that they could run it through this, and it uh, shows imagery in the spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, as a one with sample? Yeah, but we don't have the track, mm -hmm. so we cannot do that. Okay. <laughs> it's just a uh, hint. Uh, can I run... Um, mm -hmm. This audio spectrum graph was done, but what is it? シグナルプロセスその信号処理とかをちょっとやってないと多分これは何なのかっていうのがわかんないんじゃないかなっていうあのうんオーディオ。I think the some of people cannot understanding the what is the meaning of the audio spectrum. Oh, the audio spectrum. Okay. Yeah, this is the audio spectrum. Yeah. The audio spectrum graph is a time lapsing of the this spectrum. Yeah. 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 It's a histogram so, of the spectrum, mm -hmm. basically. このオーディオスペクトラムっていうのは音の信号処理だと結構難しいんですけど、このチョップとトップの変換によって簡単に可視化できてるよっていうサンプルですね。So it's, yeah, it's an analysis tool, but also a visualization tool, essentially. Now, the fun thing is that you also can do this with images. And if we open up the palette, under tools, you can find a uh, histogram. histogram So let's load that in. And use the movie top, the movie file in top as the input to the histogram. The movie file in top and now one of these outputs here, it's the first output. Let's add a null chop after it. And um, instead of the, uh, uh, yeah, let's have a look here. This one is 255 samples long. So let's stretch this signal to 720 with a stretch, stop, stretch chop. Stretch. Is it here? 
Snagimasu. And we can do this manually because we're 5-7. Or we can do it properly. Relative, set the unit values in the... Uh, actually, there's a, there's a quick way of doing this. Is there? No, this is running. Let's set the unit values to absolute. The unit value of absolute. And the end parameter to 719. So we have 720 samples in here. The end parameter of 720. 19. 19. Ah. So. And it's 719, we want 720, but 0 to 719 makes 720. And now use this stretch here as the reference or as the input for the chop 2. So I can select the chop 2 top and just drag the stretch onto it. So I drag the stretch onto the top two. Yeah. Stretch stretch and now what you get is a histogram of, or oh, sorry, uh, um, a time graph <laughs> of the color histogram, which can be quite pretty and beautiful actually for slow moving uh, installations. で、今その I do like that in Touch Designer, a lot of the uh, tools that are built or a lot of the operators that are available, they can be used for analytical functions, mm -hmm. but you can misuse them just for visual prettiness, if that makes sense. いろいろツールを作ったりできるんですが、そこのビジュアルが面白いので、それをなんか作品に使ったりもしてると。<laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was our spectrograph. So for the next example, the next example is a little bit um, a build out, um, yeah, a couple more operators essentially. So let's zoom out of the uh, um, mover and let's create another, another base component. And let's call this one uh, Nebula or something. Nebula Oh, we should ask if everybody was okay with the spectrum. Was that okay? Mm, okay, I will ask you. ここまでで質問がある方いらっしゃいますか? Or were there any questions? なんでも、なんでも大丈夫です No, no. <laughs> Oh, yes The stretch Yeah, I just stretched it because um, the output of the histogram has 250, it's a 256 sample long channel. And because I want to have uh, 720, that was just because of the resolution that I'm working with, I'm stretching it to that, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's enter our 
Nebula here. And as a source for this feedback loop, what I would like to create or what I would like to use is a noise top, just a regular uh, noise top. And let's change this noise top a little bit. Let's set the uh, turn off monochrome so we have colored noise. Then let's set the resolution again to uh, one pixel wide and 700 pixel, 720 pixels high. And let's put this as we did before or on top of a rectangle left aligned. And one thing about the rectangle, we'll set the rectangle already to 16-bit. Um, um, so let's add a, sorry, not a rectangle, a constant. Let's add a constant top. And the resolution of the constant top will set to 1280 by 720. And the pixel format will set to 16-bit. And we'll combine those two. Sorry, I also, I also fix the color here. I'll set it to black and make it transparent. And I'll over the noise, over the constant, and make it again left aligned. So what I had to do was I had to set the prefit overlay to native resolution and justify horizontal to left. Okay. And now we'll build a little feedback loop with an add top. So we have an add here. And we'll use a feedback. And use the feedback as the second input to the add. で、and drag the add onto the target top parameter of the feedback. で、あとをフィードバックトップのえ、target um, yeah, now instead of uh, moving it around, let's try to use a displace a displace top to make it um, use the displace to basically push those pixels to the side. So we'll find the displace. And we'll just plug both uh, feedback and, uh, yeah, the feedback into both inputs. And the um, all right, and we'll add a level after. With a tiny opacity or no large opacity of again 0 0.995. And for the displays, what we'll do is we'll set the, um, um, we only want to displace in one direction, so only horizontally. Um, therefore, the display weight on the second parameter will set to zero. The display weight on the display weight on the y is zero. 
And let's try to set the display weight of the first parameter to something really small, like 0 0.001. でディスプレイスのウェイトの x 側をもうちょっとちっちゃい値で変えます。零点零ゼロゼロ零点零一に変えます。So now what we need to do is we just need to start animating the noise. And animating the noise is,、uh, yeah, nicely done by controlling the translate. In、uh, Z parameter. で今、ノイズがこう固定のノイズの画像になっているので、これをアニメーションさせていきます。で、トランスレイトの Z の値を、えー、と変えていきます。And what I usually do in these cases, if I just want to、um, mock it up, I'll use apps time dot frame. And it's a little fast. So I'll do times 0.01. でこれ値が常に変わっていくのに、apps times dot frame のでそれだとちょっと早すぎるのでかける 0.01 にします。And I can proceed and、um, yeah,、uh, if you play around a little bit with these parameters and see what you can get to, like see what the impact of the displays has on here. Like just play around with the display weights on here and see what kind of results you can get. Or even try to use other components or operators. That feed into the displays to see what effect、um, something has in the feedback loop. The displays no weight of kaita greba kono henka no tsiosa ga kari masi. Displays ni new look する画像を変えてあげればあのピクセルがどう、えー、とフィードバックしていくかっていうのをその入力画像で変化をつけることができます。You also have control over things like in the noise, the period that can change the output,、um, like, yeah, fairly dramatically. Or you can add、uh, more blurs into the whole thing. Like, I'll just add a blur here, for example, and increase the blur size quite dramatically. The、えー、feedback on the side. ブラーをつなげるともっと面白い感じになります。So it's really creating these、um, yeah, very nebulous effects for you. で、なんかこう、星,星雲あの、宇宙にある星雲みたいなエフェクトになります。Um, one thing I did in the original file, I sometimes like to use image filters that are in the palette. And one that is really useful often, I find, is the pixelate component, which you find in the palette image filters. The palette の中の、えー、image filter から、What is the name? Pixelate. Pixelate というものをちょっと出してみます。And here, if I set the pixel size fairly high, 50, eh, it's okay. It doesn't have a great effect. Nah, never mind. <laughs> It was an idea. <laughs> um, yeah, so it might be a good idea for you to try a little bit. Like, try to add something into this feedback loop that has a dramatic effect. Like, just let's have, let's have five minutes and see if you can add something into this feedback loop that、um, creates a visual output that you might、um, feel is interesting. So, try an edge top or try,、um, we have so many. 
try a flip top or an HSV adjust or something like this and place that into the feedback loop. And uh, let's spend five minutes doing this and I'll just come around as well and have a look what you're creating um, to see, yeah. And remember, small value adjustments are very, very key with a lot of these feedback effects. So, yeah. We'll do this for five minutes. Feedback in the loop, I don't know. I pixel rate or it's a little bit of 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 so, you, yeah, you can, you can try out tons of stuff with that. I'll just have a look if there's... Mm -hmm. what, the what is our recommendation? Is. Any other operators? Um, the edge usually edge. works quite well, or the... Um, <coughs> what also is nice, um, you can also you always use an HSV mm -hmm. adjust. で、エッジとかHSV、アジャストとかが結構おすすめで、いろいろ繋いでみるとフィードバックがかかって面白いエフェクトになるので、ちょっとあの試してみて、面白いエフェクトを作ってみてください。Hue offset makes it go totally insane. Things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just wonder if you guys can come up with some stuff here. It's always a good uh, little experiment. Feedback is kind of all about experimenting what you can create with combining operators that you might not want to uh, combine normally. Um, there's such a wide array. Um. And just adding this one operator, perhaps now I'm thinking if I add my pixelate that I like so much. Yeah, I can uh, create various effects with that. Maybe my hue offset is a little bit much, but. <laughs> <laughs> So just because I mentioned that, maybe try, let's try that out as the next thing. Um, I mentioned that it would be interesting to have feedback loops inside feedback loops. And those are things that sometimes have, uh, yeah, you get interesting effects, basically. Double feedback. And we'll start with a new component for that as well. Actually, I'm just going to desaturate this a little bit. OK. Um, or should we wait another? It's OK. So let's go outside here and create yet again another component which we'll call the double feedback. And as before, we'll bring in a movie file and we can just bring in again the uh, um, the Patagonia file. Yeah, Patagonia movie. And the base effect for this double feedback loop that we'll choose hides in the palette again. It's in <coughs> image filters. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. and it's called pixel relocator. 
、えー、ピクセルリロケーターっていうのを作ります。So、let's drag the pixel relocator in. And let's plug the movie file into the first input. で、1個目の入り口に、movie file in をつなぎます。So, what the pixel relocator does is it has two inputs. And the first input is the source image, the second input is a displacement image. But it works slightly different than the display stop. What is the different, uh, different point of the display stop?、Uh, yeah,、um, I'll explain that. Maybe we should.、Mm -hmm. or、uh, showing. So the,、um, so the difference between the pixel relocator and the displacement is that with the pixel relocator, you can actually move a pixel, or two pixels could be moved on top of each other. While the displace top, that's not a possibility. You always leave some,、um, it shifts stuff, but、uh, there's other stuff that goes into its place. So the pixel relocator is, has a different general effect in the end. 1個目の入力が、えー、とソースで2個目の入力がディスプレイスをする置き換えるための画像になりますでディスプレイストップとの違いが何かっていうのがちょっと今作ってくれてるみたいですいや、yeah. yeah. Yeah, you end up with black pixels, yeah. As you. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The,、uh, it means the displays change the pixel value?、Um, the, the pixel relocator. Changing the it's the pixel position,、mm -hmm. directly、okay. moving yeah, yeah, yeah. them around. The display stop is the pixel in the back of the pixel. The pixel is the display stop. The pixel is the pixel relocator. 位置とか方向も入れ替えることができるというのがあのディスプレイストップと違うところだそうです。So the second input to this pixel relocator,、an、easy way would be to use a noise top here. でここでまたノイズトップが。And let's set the resolution of this noise to again 1280 by 720. で解像度をまた 1280×720 に変えます。And we'll turn off the monochrome flag. で、モノクロフラグをオフにしてカラーのノイズに変えます。And use the noise as the second input into the pixel relocator. で、セカンド、えっ、ー、と、ピクセルリロケーターのセカンドインプットにノイズをつなぎます。The first thing I'll do is I'll、um, create a very very small amplitude as well. So the noise should have a very small amplitude. That's something you can adjust kind of、uh, manually to something yeah, like this 0.01. でノイズのアンプリチュードを変えていくと、まあ、あのピクセルの置き換えの大きさが変化していて一旦 0.01 にしてます。そしてもう一つのアニメーションをしてみます。そして、Transform ページ、on the Translate Z。で、またノイズをアニメーションさせたいので、さっきと同じ。Let's do apps time, apps time dot frame, and we want to move it very, very slow, so 0.001. Then, apps time dot frame, かけるすごいゆっくりにしたいので、eh, 0.001 をかけます。And, well, The first thing is, I'm getting these black lines because I'm offsetting pixels and then I get these patterns there. And to get rid of these patterns, we can use a feedback loop back there where we take the output and just put the,、uh, the same thing 
like a feedback over the same feedback loop we have built before. So let's add here an over top to the output. An over. over. And let's take a feedback. Plug them together and use the over as the target top. So we're literally drawing on top of each other and I'll just put a null at the end to see my result. And this is already interesting. What you, um, you will see very different results by changing the noise tops pixel format here. From 8-bit to 16. While you still have the black lines here, they, those patterns pretty much disappear. And even if you go to 32, it becomes even smoother. And you can see just the whole image warping. The noise top no common kara pixel format to八ビットになっているのを十六ビット三十二ビットって書いていくとまあ模様みたいになってたあの結果が三十二ビットにまで書いていくとかなり滑らかで画像全体がこう動いているような感じに見えます。And you can see what kind of effect I get uh, by changing the amplitude of the um, of the noise. It's just a yeah can get a very strong uh, deformation. But we'll leave it at 0 0.01. And now we said we want a feedback loop inside a feedback loop. So after the movie file in, let's add a feedback. feedback <coughs> And as the target top, let's take the same over that goes, that builds the first feedback loop. Let's use that same over as the target top for our second feedback. And it completely, uh, yeah, disintegrates our image in, uh, driven by the noise. Now, this is quite nice. What I like to do here, or what adds to this effect is, how about I bring in a little bit of the original image into this whole thing, so I can respawn this process over and over and over again. And the way that, I, um, that works here well is by adding a switch top after the feedback, or cross cross or switch after the feedback. Um, but we'll use it, I, I always use switches somehow. So we'll add a switch and then take the movie file in as the second input to the switch. Mixing the... Yeah. And turn on, oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> すごいアブストラクトになってるんで、このフィードバックを2回かけてるものと元のムービーインとをちょっとミックスした感じでフィードバック具合をちょっと下げたやつをさらにフィードバックに変えてあげれば、まああのそのバランスがコントロールできるので
0.10 あ0から1までで 100% のミックスになるので元の画像をどれだけ入れたいかをこ,この値でコントロールしますで今は、えー、0.01 をで 1% 入れました And you can play a little bit with this index parameter to see、um, yeah, what effect it has when you、um, the more you bring in from the original image or、uh, less. And also, the other thing to play around with now is the noise top. See what the noise top, all these parameters that you have there, can do with this image. So, changing the period creates a much more noisy. The noise no, eh, to parameter is it, then, mata, o, kik, fun, kik, a, k, a, r, no, de, period, no, at, a, o, s, a, g, to, ik, to, s, go, i, noisy, na, kan, ji, ni, na, li, mas. Or a smoother one. Harmonics are interesting, always. If you turn the exponent up, you get these almost.、Um, let's, let's do this. This is by changing the exponent of the noise. And it almost looks like a little circuit board drawing or something like that. And you can control the speed of the noise too. Uh, make that more random. The noise no henka no speed o kaite mo iro iro kaalimas. Um, yeah. Any questions on this one? Koko made de nani ka shitmon ga alimas i s h o k a That's all of the morning section? I'm pretty much, yeah.、Mm -hmm. But we can.、Uh, I'm skipping the other one because it would take too long, I think. We could do alternatively one more if you want. What is the. The last one would be we would do the,、um, the averaging of、uh, like drawing images on top and then averaging it out.、Mm -hmm. We can do that too.、Uh, yeah. yeah, for five more minutes、yeah. and then, yeah. Okay. もう1個だけトピックがあるので、特に質問がないようだったらそっちをやってしまおうと思いますとのことです。Okay. Since we don't have any questions, we'll, we'll do that. So, the last one then for today would be something where we,、uh, where we try to、uh, record images and we place those images on top of each other. And then we try to kind of create the average of all those images only using tops as well and a feedback loop. So, think about what, what operators we would need. We need an add top. And then we have this very handy top called the analyze. Which can give us the maximum value. So, what we'll essentially create is a feedback loop where we just add images on top of each other. And then we'll use the analyze to see what the final highest value of this is. And this analyze top, then, this, it creates a texture as well. We'll use this to divide this created image by this maximum number. Resulting in a normalized value that we actually can see, like something between zero and one.、Mm. That's a long one. I guess you should show the sample. Yeah. The, the women's. Oh,、picture. right. Yeah, that's a good idea. The gazon o feedback is divided. What do you call it? I don't know what to call it. マックスの画像を解析してそのトップ割れて一番色味が強いところとかをどんどんどんどん重ね合わせてって特徴を合成していくみたいなこれなんかあの
平均的な人の顔みたいなよくあると思うんですけどたくさんの画像をどんどんどんどんフィードバックしていってそれの強い部分だけが残っていって弱い部分は薄くなっていくっていうのをこれもフィードバックを使えば同じようにフィードバックとアナライズトップを使えば同じようにできてこれはそうですねその特徴が強いマックスバリューの部分だけどんどん残っていって周りはどんどんボケていくというか薄くなっていくっていうでこれと同じことが、まあ、動画をインプットしたりとかフィードバックのループを使って作れるでそれを作りますということです。OK、So I'll start with adding a new component here Base component And I'll just call it add. Or maybe average would be a better name. Average. And then I'll add a base. Average. Average. And go inside. And I'll place again this movie, the Patagonia movie. And then I'll add a Patagonia movie. Now, to get this properly working, we will have to set this movie, the pixel、uh, format of that movie already to、uh, um, yeah, 16 bit shall be fine for that. So, on the common page of the movie file in, change the pixel format to 16 bit. Pixel format to 16 bit. And right after, let's build this little feedback loop with an add top. So it's an add top, and then in a new branch, a feedback. Add to feedback. And use the add as the target top for the feedback. Add to feedback の target top. And it might be interesting to check now already what's happening with these values. So I'll add a top to top. で今どういうふうにピクセルの値が変わっているかを確認するのでチョップトゥトップをトップトゥチョップトゥチョップを使います。And you can see that all these values are increasing and increasing and increasing because we adding those things on top of each other, right? で今アドでフィードバックをずっとかけ続けているのですべてのピクセルの値がどんどんどんどん増えていっています。So now after this We need to find, as I said, a divide. And we don't have a divide as, a,、uh, uh, as an operator, but if we look for the composite top. ここで divide の機能が必要なんですが、divide top というのはないので、コンポーネントの divide、このコンポジットの divide 機能を使います。Then this、uh, composite top actually has an operation called divide. でコンポーネントの、えー、コンポジットのオペレーションをディバイドを選びます。And what we want to do, we want to divide essentially with the max values because these values here are way outside the visible range. They're always going to be white. Whatever is visible and touches between 0 and 1, after that it's white or below 0 it's black. So how do we find those max values? Well, we can use the Mentioned for me,、um, analyze top. So let's middle mouse click on the output and find an analyze. Feedback is the test. I know that the frame is max. No, I don't know what the pixel is. I know that the analyze is the top. And the output of the analyze is a single pixel. But it can have different options here, different operations. We can have the average, the minimum. Or the maximum. The average, the analyze, is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look of the analyze. The analyze is a new look. I will have to set the fixed layer of it to input 1. Fixed layer を、uh, input 1. And suddenly my image reappears a little bit. ちょっと違ったイメージが
I do have these funny fall-offs on the side, which comes from taking one pixel and stretching it across the whole screen, and uh, you, it creates these edges. But we can fix this by setting the uh, uh, prefit overlay to native resolution and the extent overlay to repeat. で、えー、とプリフィットオーバーレイを n a t i v e r e s o l u t i o にしてエクステンドオーバーレイをリピートに変えます。And now, if I,、um, if I hit the reset on the feedback here, the feedback will be reset. You can kind of watch it drawing on top of each other. And while the original images they all stay behind somehow, but. It's essentially giving you an average of the whole thing. The original image is a little bit more than the feedback. The feedback is a little bit more than the And this is my last lesson of the day here.、Um, any questions about that? これで午前中の部は終わりなのですが、何か質問がありますでしょうか。Then I'm done. Done? Thank you. Oh, there's a question.、Okay. We have a question.、Yes. はい。はい。あ、はい。あ、What is the meaning of the change the parameter to the extend the extend p l a c e Okay, yeah, so the、uh, idea here is、um, if I take a constant just to explain that, and I'll make it、uh, black and I make it 1280 by 720. その違いをコンスタントを使ってちょっと説明をします。And then I take a second constant and make it smaller. And this is kind of to imitate what we have here. We have one constant which is 1280 by 720. And the analyze is one pixel only. So here I'll do the same over、um, da -da -da We had it like this, but I need to, sorry, input two and native resolution.、Mm -hmm. So this is the,、uh, this is the uh, uh, starting position for us. We have a smaller thing inside a bigger thing. And now the extent overlay has different. Options how to deal with this extra space or what, the,、uh, what you do with the small one、um, outside of its limits, if that makes sense. Composite で重ねたときに、native resolution を選ぶと、あの下の画像の解像度に対して上の画像がペッて乗っかるだけなんですけど、あのそれを足りない部分を自動でリピートするとか。えー、とゼロだと何もやらなくてミラ,ミ,ラミラだとそうですねひっくり返してあのしたりとかあと横にビーって伸ばしたりとかっていう選択ができるということですね。And so there's repeat, there's hold where it then extends the, it takes the edges essentially and、um, it takes the edge pixels and extends them, stretches them. And then there's also a mirror, which would be、um, good to show here. So now it's taking the image and then mirroring.